Welcome friends. Now we are going to discuss important multiple choice questions on accounting from incomplete records, popularly known as single entry system in English. For Hindi, you can click on the I button so you will uh, able to watch the same multiple choice questions in Hindi. So let us start with first questions. It says accounting for incomplete records is also known as so we know that accounts accounts or accounting from incomplete records is popularly known as single entry system because it records only one aspect of the transaction. So here option A is the right answer. Next question says under single entry system only dash accounts are maintained and options are personal, real, nominal, none of these. See friends, under single entry system only personal account and cash account is maintained. So here option A is the right answer. Let us move on the next question. Next question says the single entry system is adopted by and options are companies, small business concerns, big business units, all of these. See friends, the single entry system is mainly adopted by small business concerns because companies cannot adopt single entry system because they have to prepare their books of account as per the legal provisions. Uh, in double entry system right so small business concerns uh, can adopt this single entry system or uh, accounts from incomplete records system right so here option b is the right answer next uh, question says the system of accounting in which dual aspects of transactions are recorded is called dash system and options are single entry fixed entry double entry none of this See friends, the system of accounting in which dual aspects of transaction are recorded is basically double entry system. In single entry system, only one aspect is recorded, right? So for question number four, option C is the right answer. That is double entry system. Let us move on the next question. And next question says books of accounts maintained under dash system are not reliable. And options are double entry, single entry, fixed entry. See friends, again the books of accounts maintained under single entry system are not reliable because it records only one aspect of the transactions. So there can be, um, uh, there is a possibility of uh, mistakes and frauds uh, in single entry system. Right. So books of account mandate under single entry system are not reliable. So here option B is the right answer. Next question says which of the following method is used to ascertain the profit or loss from the incomplete records and options are statement of affairs method, conversion method, both and none of these. See friends, uh, for uh, kind of asserting the profit. Uh, under say uh, incomplete record or single entry system uh, we can use either statement of affairs method or conversion method in statement of affairs method uh, we ascertain the opening capital and closing capital and uh, with adjustment we can uh, calculate the profit or loss or in a uh, in first method and in conversion method we convert the sing uh, incomplete records into con complete records Okay, so basically conversion method uh, converts incomplete records into complete records. It prepares trial balance and then we prepare profit and loss account to ascertain the profit and profit or loss, right? So for this question, which of the following? So both statement of affairs and conversion method. So here option C that both methods are used to ascertain the profit or loss from the incomplete records. Let us move on the next question and next question says the first step in the statement of affairs method is to ascertain. So as we discussed that in a statement of affairs method, uh, we can ascertain the profit and loss. And in this method, the first step is the uh, assertment of opening capital, right? So here option B is the right answer. Let us move on the next question. It says is prepared to find out opening capital under accounts from incomplete records. 
so dash is prepared to find out opening capital so as uh, in previous question we discussed that the first step in the state statement of affairs method is to ascertain the opening capital and that opening capital can be ascertained by options are balance sheet profit and loss statement of affairs method uh, or statement showing profit and loss see press uh, in single entry system or accounts from incomplete record, we prepare statement of appears to calculate opening capital and closing capital balances. So here option C is the right answer. Statement of appears is prepared to find out opening capital under accounts from incomplete records. Let us move on the next question and next question says statement of appear is uh, statements of affairs is same as Options are profit and loss, balance sheet, trading, cash account. See friends, statement of affairs is same as balance sheet. It is like balance sheet only. We uh, write liabilities on uh, left hand side, assets on right hand side and accordingly a uh, statement of affairs uh, balancing figure gives us opening capital and uh, closing capital balance. Right. So basically statement of affairs is same as balance sheet. So here option B is the right answer. Next question says opening capital is subtracted from dash to find out profit or loss in the statement of uh, profit or loss. So opening cap capital is subtracted from dash and options are cash, profit and loss, balance sheet, closing capital. See friends, opening capital is subtracted from closing capital to find out the profit or loss in the statement of profit or loss. See friends, this uh, method of statement of affairs a statement of affairs to calculate the profit or loss is very simple here to understand uh, the method we can take the example suppose there is a uh, a vendor uh, who sells fruits okay and the vendor uh, purchases goods of uh, rupees 1000 at the morning and at the end of the day he sell all the goods and now he has a cash of rupees 1500 so here as we can see that he has uh, purchased the goods of rupees uh, 1000 that is his capital balance was 1000 rupees at the beginning and at the end of the day now he has 1500 so here we can logically say that the difference between 1500 and 1000 that is 500 is the profit for that vendor in uh, the day right in a day uh, in a day so basically here we are comparing opening capital with closing capital right so to find out the profit generally uh, we subtract opening capital from the closing capital under this method right so for this question opening capital is subtracted from closing capital to find out the profit so here uh, option d is the right answer let us move on the next question. Next question says drawings are dash in the statement of profit and loss to a certain uh, profit or loss. So we have to add the drawings. So drawings are added in the statement of profit or loss to a certain the profit or loss. Next uh, sentence is uh, in conversion method is prepared to find out profit or loss. And options are balance sheet, statement of profit, profit and loss, statement showing profit. See friends, the conversion method is uh, another method of uh, asserting the profit under uh, the single entry system. In conversion method, we convert the single entry uh, or incomplete accounts into complete accounts and the profit is ascertained by preparing the profit and loss account. Right. So here option C is the right answer. Let me correct this option in option uh, it says B, but here option C is the right answer, right? In conversion method, <clears throat> profit and loss account is prepared to find out profit or loss. Option C is the right answer. Let us move on the next question. It says in conversion method dash is prepared to check arithmetical accuracy and options are trial balance, balance sheet, profit and loss statement. Number. So we know that friends to check the arithmetical accuracy of the accounts we prepare trial balance. So same trial balance is prepared under the conversion method. 
right so in conversion method trial balance is prepared to check arithmetical accuracy so here option a is the right answer next question says under conversion method dash account is prepared to a certain credit purchases and options are total debtors total cash total creditor profit and loss under conversion method dash account is prepared so under conversion method uh dash account is prepared to a certain credit purchases purchases so we can a certain credit purchases by preparing the total creditors account right so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question next question says bills receivable dishonor is debited to see friends when bills receivable is dishonored it is basically uh debited to and options are bills receivable creditor cash and debtors account so if bills receivable is dishonored it is debited to debtors account so here option uh, d is the right answer next question says which of the following account is prepared under conversion methods so this question asks us which of the following account is prepared and options are total creditor total debtors total assets account see friends under conversion methods we have to prepare the various accounts like total debtors account creditor account assets account so here all of the above that is option t is the right answer let us move on the next question and it is a uh, uh, question related to true or false so first sentence is single entry system is scientific method of recording business transactions and uh, we have to state whether this statement is true or false see friends single entry system is not scientific method it is unscientific method of recording business transaction right so because of this this statement is false so here option b is the right answer next question says statement of affairs is same as balance sheet yes we have already discussed that statement of affairs is same as balance sheet so this statement is true so here option a is the right answer next question says cash sales can be ascertained by subtracting dash from total sales so we can ascertain cash sales by subtracting debtors credit sales credit purchases and creditor these are the option see here we have to ascertain the cash sales so we can ascertain cash sales by subtracting uh, credit sales from the total sales right so total sales minus credit sales will give us cash sales so here option b is the right answer next question says under dash method incomplete records are converted into complete records so we have already discussed that under conversion method incomplete records are converted into uh, complete records right so friends here we have discussed the 20 important multiple choice questions on accounts from incomplete records if you have any question related to this topic or any doubt uh, related to this topic please let me know in the comment section and make sure that you have subscribed the channel thank you thanks for watching